Hey everybody, this is Brett with Summit Auto in Fond du Lac, Wisconsin. Today I'm excited to show you our very first 2021 Jeep Grand Cherokee L Limited package. We've had a Summit on our lot. Um, this is our first Limited and I think that this is probably going to be our bread and butter um, when it comes to the Grand Cherokee, the new Grand Cherokees and the new Grand Cherokee L's. They're really nicely equipped. Um, this one has the 3.6 liter V6 Pentastar engine with start-stop technology. It's going to get you 25 miles per gallon on the highway, 18 city, and an average of 21 miles per gallon. Uh, this color is velvet red metallic, and uh, this one has the 10.1 radio. It also has the luxury tech group two, and uh, we're just going to do a walk around here. We're going to check it inside and out, go over all the options. Of course, the big change for this year is the uh, new front end. Um, really a good looking front end. They've done a nice job with that re redesign. The hood's a little bit longer, a little bit um, more horizontal. Uh, looks good. Get all the LED headlamps and fog lights and running lights and everything. The seven slotted grill. Uh, this one comes with the 20 inch polished and painted aluminum rims. It has Bridgestone Acopia tires. These are 265 50R20s. You can see kind of an all-terrain tread pattern to those. Really like the rims. Pretty good looking. Get the American flag on there in front of the Grand Cherokee. That looks good. We'll take a look at the original window sticker and then we'll continue our walk around here. So 2021 Grand Cherokee L Limited. You can see the interior color is global black. Um, the interior is the Capri leather seats with perforated inserts. Has a 3.6 liter, the eight speed automatic transmission. Everything on your left there is standard. So the Quadratrack one, select terrain, remote start, power lift gate. That's all with the limited um, package standard here. So. Uh, where you get to, into your optional equipment is down here. The velvet red is $345. Trailer tow package is $995, which gives you the receiver hitch, the trailer hitch zoom, the rear load leveling suspension, and the uh, seven and four pin wiring, and automatic headlamp leveling system as well. So the luxury tech group two is $2,295. I think it should be called luxury and tech group, but that's just me, because it gives you the, these Capri leather seats, the intersection collision assist, park sense, front and rear park assist with stop, surround view camera, rain sensitive wipers, um, rear view auto dimming digital mirror display, rear view backup camera, wireless charging pad, ventilated seats, integrated off-road camera, uh, the second row window shades, um, automatic dimming, exterior driver mirror, door and liftgate passive entry, so the enter and go system, memory steering column, and power tilt and telescopic steering wheel. Has a dual pane panoramic sunroof, which is $1,795, and then you get the Uconnect nav with 10.1 inch display, which is really cool, and that's $995. Gives you the nav, the amplified speakers with the subwoofer, and the uh, 506 watt amplifier, and then connected travel and traffic services as well. And those wheels on here are $1,495. Your total MSRP is $55,610. Three year 36 bumper to bumper, five year 60 powertrain. They're your uh, estimated miles per gallon. And they do not have the safety ratings out for this vehicle yet, but my guess would be that they're gonna be pretty high safety ratings as the Grand Cherokees always seem to be. Um, take a look up here. You get that dual pane panoramic sunroof. The uh, rear taillights seem to have been squished a little bit. They're not quite as tall as they used to be. Um, a little bit sleeker. They wrap around the side of the vehicle pretty nicely. There's your receiver hitch, four pin, seven pin wiring. I took the cover off just for the video. Um, and we like to keep them inside so they don't go missing on the lot. Power lift gate. So this is the L, it's got the third row seats. 
Um, if you've ever seen a Durango, this setup is very similar. These are not the power seats. These are the manual fold down. So you just grab this handle right here and push it down. And you can see just how nice and flat that those go. And then when the second row is down, you have even an, an even flatter area to store stuff. And they come up nice and easy, but nice and tight there um, so that there's not a big gap in between there. Um, and we'll sit back there and I'll kind of show you how much room there is as well. Here's your cover for that receiver hitch. They're really, they made the tabs really easy to open and close. So I like that. Uh, looks like there's storage underneath here and that's where you get to your spare tire. To get this gate down, there's a button right here. Press that. It'll beep at you three times and it'll start coming down and actually beeps at you a total of four. So they haven't changed that. Backup parking sensors. Uh, this one does have the capless fuel fill, which is really nice. I think if it's got these buttons, then you know it has the enter and go system. Blind spot monitoring, heated mirrors, directional signals on there. Inside the limited package gives you the Capri leather seats. Global black is the color. Nice white or titanium stitching or whatever they call it. Uh, lumbar, both these seats are heated and cooled. Power telescopic, what they mean by that is that it goes in and out and power tilt as well. Auto headlamps, you get the nice dark wood grain trim on the doors and that actually feels like wood so I don't know if that's plastic or not but I know on the summits it's it's real wood uh, this is pretty good looking simulated wood if it's simulated memory driver seat power windows power locks power mirrors and then this, the Alpine premium sound system as well we'll hop inside turn the ignition on check out the radio and everything that this one has to offer So you can see it's got the tire uh, pressure monitoring system on it, which is really nice. And then you can change all this stuff. If you look in the upper left, you have vehicle info, main menu, and then that's when the, dig the dash goes to your digital uh, speedometer and tack. Notice you do get a digital um, reading right in the middle there as well. And it has a nice design. I'm thinking that's probably about an 11 inch display. Um, I might even say. But it looks really good and it's pretty configurable and nicely done. Leather wrapped steering wheel. This one is heated. You get uh, Bluetooth and information center controls on the left. And then that button right here, if you press that, it changes the display up top and you can like choose your um, apps for a lap, lack of better term there, uh, what you wanna go to, so that's pretty cool. And then on the right side, you have the cruise controls and then the adaptive cruise controls. This one does have the paddle shifters on it. And then this is the 10.1 radio. Um, you connect five, so you get AM, FM, Sirius XM radio capabilities. Uh, it has the factory navigation system on it. You have uh, your different comfort settings. Uh, you can do your heated seats, heated steering wheel. <clears throat> and then you have all your different vehicle settings here as well, um, including the surround view camera, which is pretty cool. You can see all the way around our... Uh, picture studio there the backup camera there you can change your front camera wide view narrow view go to your backup and then you can zoom in over the receiver hitch so you get hooked up to your boat camper trailer the first time every time and then they have uh, the front camera you can clean it where it'll actually spray windshield washer fluid like that <laughs> that's pretty cool um, and then they have a trail view cam but I think you gotta have it in drive uh, or there it is forward facing cam uh, that's the same one. 
And then uh, you have the fam cam, which they took this out of the Pacifica uh, from last year. So you can actually see inside the vehicle. I'm not sure if they took all the plastics off, but um, you can zoom in and see who's being naughty in the vehicle or what people are doing uh, back there. So that's pretty cool. And you can actually see me sitting right here. So fam cam. That's what that's called. You can uh, lower the third row headrest, just like a Durango. And then you have all your different settings here. Uh, we could go into a whole, <laughs> a whole long video just on this radio, but we're not going to do that right now. We're just going to get the basics here. Now you do have heated and cooled seat buttons down here. You get a USB, two USBs, two USB Cs, and an AUX jack. This is a wireless cell phone charge pad. This is the QuadraTrack 1 system, so you still get the snow, sand, or I'm sorry, snow, yeah, sand, mud, snow, auto, and sport modes. Um, and instead of a turn dial, they have this little um, clicker here. And you can see if you look up in the EVIC here, it actually will change that as you put it up and down. So that's pretty cool. Um, 8-speed automatic transmission. They've changed the key fobs on the uh, new Grand Cherokees. They're more of a square. Uh, they kind of look like the uh, GM key fobs for the trucks and stuff. Um, but I can tell they're they're much nicer quality than the GM uh, key fobs. You get the nice Jeep logo on the back. And it's distinct. You know, you'll always know which key fob that you got in your pocket. Um, remote start, power lift gate, uh, emergency horn. But really nice key fob. And uh, the rest of the interior, I like how they laid out the dash. And once again, it's it's very similar to the Durango um, as far as the dash is laid out. I think the doors are a little bit different. Um, but this one does have the power Vista roof. And you can see that opens up nicely. Really brightens it up in here. And then you do get assist and SOS buttons up there. Uh, controls for that sunroof and sunshade controls, home link buttons for your garage door security systems and lighting systems. And uh, we'll uh, turn the vehicle on here so I can show you the headlights. Um, and then I can show you this rear view camera. So this is an actual camera that's on the back of the vehicle that shows a real video of what's going on behind you. Um, you can brighten it, you can dim it, and you can also uh, like see that's brightening it right there and if you press that again it'll actually lower it or if you want to raise it so it'll give you a real view of what's going on behind you i'm not a big fan of it but i think some people like it or you can just make it a normal rear view mirror which is what i prefer to have it at anyways i was going to turn it on and show you all the lights and everything but I am going to show you the back seats first, just because this is the newest, the newest thing. And they have the second row, you know, now you can get a Grand Cherokee with the quad seats, which I think a lot of people like, um, especially if you've got two kids and they, uh, they tend to fight a lot, you know, having their own seats with, you know, armrest divider in there, it's probably a good thing. Uh, here are your rear air controls. These back seats are heated. You do get two USBs, two USB-Cs, and a 115 volt, 150 watt plug-in, um, which is also nice if your um, kids have tablets and charge them. Uh, it does have the latch child safety system, of course, with the um, for child safety seats for younger children. So these handles go like that, and what that kind of does, it's very once again very similar to the Pacifica how the seats kind of slide forward and angle up so it's easier to get into the back. Now we're gonna get in the back here. Actually isn't too tough to get back here. And while I'm sitting back here, I will show you that, you know, I think this seat is as far back as it can be. And my knees are still not touching. Um, and I'm about six foot, so, you know, like, it probably wouldn't be the most comfortable ride, but if the seat was up a little bit, which it does slide up, 
um, I think I'd be pretty comfortable back here. Uh, the seats are really nice. They're they're firm. So you do get two you two plugins back here, a USB and a USB C, and that's on each side. Little Easter egg, you got the Grand Cherokee and the Grand Cherokee L driving along there. And then this one does have the side window shades, which are right here. Which remember that's part of that luxury tech group too. And uh yeah, there's plenty of room back here. But I do like that they have the quad seating, which is pretty pretty neat. It's not too bad to get out of. And then these seats just slide down like that. So th you can see that this second row quad seat, this one's up a little bit farther than that one. They just are on a slider and they're really easy to slide actually. One hand, pretty simple. Um, cup holders back here, floor mats. And that's pretty much it. Um, as promised, I'll start it up, turn on the, all the lights so that we can do a walk around here with all the lights on. And I would personally like to thank you for checking out the video today and hopefully from this HD video you have gotten a really good idea of the overall looks and styling on the Grand Cherokee L Limited Velvet Red. Really good looking color. And as we come around to the front, take note of the LED headlamps, the LED running lights, the LED fog lamps, how good those look. I think Jeep knocked it out of the park with this one and uh, we're excited to get the uh, shorter one without the third row. A lot of people have been asking about those as well and as soon as we get one we're definitely going to do a video of it. And to see more pictures of this Jeep or one of our other 450 new and used cars, trucks, SUVs, minivans, Wranglers, Grand Cherokees, Cherokees, you name it, we got it. Go to that website right there, www.summitauto.com. Full pictures and descriptions of every single vehicle from two locations, all at summitauto.com. And if you'd like to check out more HD videos, you can go to youtube.com slash summitauto. Remember to like, subscribe, and share on this video and all the videos that you see there. In fact, in a second, you will see a link to subscribe to our YouTube channel in the upper left, a link to more Grand Cherokee L videos like this one in the upper right, a link to this vehicle on our website in the lower left, and a link to one of our latest YouTube videos in the lower right. Click those, check us out, and we're super excited to be offering the brand new Jeep Grand Cherokee L in red velvet 2021. Thanks again for checking out the video, and remember to like, subscribe, and share.